Hello everybody! <laughs> uh, hi y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Thris. If you are new, if you are a returning city, welcome back. Regardless of whichever one, I'm happy to have you. Um, so, Merry Thrismas, or just Happy Holidays, or Happy Day if you don't celebrate anything. And yes, I said Merry Thrismas, because Christmas, my name is Thris. I could not pass that opportunity up. I mean, come on, it was too perfect. So, we have a yarn haul, and I am super, 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 super stoked about it. Um, I'm surprised by it, because I forgot about it. It's not surprising I forgot something, but it is surprising I forgot about um, yarn. That doesn't happen that often. So, I made this yarn order. This was my Black Friday shopping. I was looking at everywhere, and this is where I decided to go. So, before we get to that... Um, if you guys don't mind subscribing and thumbs upping, um, I see about 34% of my viewers are not subscribed, so I would super appreciate if you subscribed. Um, check and see if you're subscribed because YouTube likes to unsubscribe people, especially around this time of year. Um, and, uh, if you don't mind leaving a comment, even if it's just an emoji, it really helps your girl out. It helps the channel out. Puts me up in that algorithm. Um, so anyway... This is from Webs, and when I went on to Webs, I decided that, okay, they had a 30% off, so, yeah, um, normally they have, like, their Webs discount, which is 25% off if you spend over 150 well, this was, um, they had different tiers, they had, like, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, something like that, and so it wasn't, like, a crazy, crazy deal, but this was what I wanted, I didn't really want um, I don't know. I didn't want, like, big box yarn store stuff, and so this is what I wanted, so this is what I did. Um, but I had my cart full of Malabrigo and Ro and all these other things that I've had before. I got rid of all of it, everything, and I said, I'm doing things I've never touched before. I've never seen before. I've never touched before. And that's what I did. So everything in this box is new to me. And I am <laughs> so excited. Okay. So here we go. And it came really quickly because I looked back and I was like, when did I order this that I was able to forget already? It was not that long ago. <laughs> Who can relate? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay. Here is my order slip. Okay, so, I hope the lighting is okay. It's very in my face. It's a ring light. It's, it's very in my face, but I think it shows well. Um, so, okay. Oh my god, it's so luscious and pretty. Alright, if you hear snoring, it is not me. It is Gizmo. So, this is the first thing very like lagoon sort of colors very soft um it is chain at construction i can tell you that already excuse my fingers i have dye on them um so this is barocco wizard 85 percent superwash wool 15 percent nylon this is a bulky number five. Weirdly, I've been getting into bulky weight yarns. Never thought that would be the day. I don't usually like going above a DK, but I've really been like enjoying bulky weight yarns. It's crazy. This is color number 2984. Wait, yeah. Um, three and a half ounces, 100 grams, 262 yards. It's 262 yards of a bulky weight. That's 
not too shabby. Um, what color? I think this actually was, I think the color name was Lagoon. So very pretty. Um, did I get more than one of these? I don't, I genuinely don't remember what I did. I don't remember. <laughs> so we're going to set that over here by Oscar. This is Oscar. Okay. Then, oh my gosh, this is stunning. How many of these do I have? So far. Oh, wow. Look at that. You open it up and it's different colors. That is beautiful. Ooh. Okay. This is by Sardar. This is called Jewel Spun Aaron Weight. 200 grams. Guys, this ball is massive. It doesn't look that big as I'm looking at it on screen, but in real life, this thing is huge. If you've seen, not the recent, um... At Joanne's, the loops, loops and threads is Michael's. At Michael's, the loops and threads, cream cotton. Not this year where it's in the skein now um, or last year, but before that when it was in the big donut. Donut and not like the one from like 2019, 2020. Because they keep getting smaller and smaller. Wow, this is pretty. This is like the size of that. I mean, huge. 200 grams. My goodness. Okay. It's 100% acrylic. No, it's not that often your girl gets an acrylic and loves it. I like this. Yeah, it's 100% acrylic. 200 grams. Let's see, how many yards do we have? Uh, the color name is 0843 Setting Sun, which is very, very fitting. It's got, oh boy, I can't read that. Do I have a loop right here? Do. Do I? Or my magnifier? How do I have so many magnifiers and I still never have one on deck? I think this says 546 yards. Excuse my fingers, they have dye on them. I believe it says 546 yards. That, that is beautiful. So I have three right here, but I'm pretty sure I have more than that because I would have gotten enough to make a cardigan. I think I would have needed four. So we'll set those to the side. Those are pretty. And they're soft. They have that kind of high twist that I like. Mm, I don't know. Maybe not really. This is what it looks like. Oh, that is very, very pretty. Okay. Oh, I cannot see. I don't know if I have more of them. We'll see when we get there. Okay. Oh, that's right. I remember what I did. Okay, so this is Cascade Yarns 220 Superwash Wave. 100% Superwash Wool. And I got... Let's see, what did I do? I know I got a bunch... Okay. Okay, so it was kind of hard to tell online. I went to Ravelry and I kind of looked to see how things looked and to see like um, what people, you know, people put different colorways together to see what those look like. And so I, I just kind of, I don't know, did the best I could. So this one I think is the nightshade one. It's 100% superwash wool, 100 grams, 220 yards. 
it feels nice. Wash and cold. Tumble dry. Oh, wow. Um, okay, yeah. And then I was looking for the color. The colorway is number 111. I have two of them, so I'm, I'm pretty positive. It was called Nightshade was this one. So, different shades of purple run with a really dark charcoal gray. I have two of those. Then I have color number 117. This one right here. Then I have color number 116. This is where we are. Then I have color number 114. So, oh, I didn't describe it, sorry. So color number 114 has lighter shades of purple, pinks, and blues. Color number 117 has fuchsias and magenta ran with a dark purple. Color number 116 is a deep blues, navy blue, ran with a dark black, uh, like either really dark gray or a black. And then I got one of color number 110, though looking at it now, well, yeah, I think it'll look fine. It's grays and blacks, grays, yeah, grays, blacks. And then the last one I think is maybe out of place. Um, it is color number 105. And that's okay because I can either put it with something else, I could put it in a giveaway, So, <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so we have the green, the navy, the two nightshades, this one this one and then we have this one tell me what you guys think I think if I leave this one by the blue it'll be fine this one I'm not sure about but what I thought about doing this one with was just running it throughout the entire project like every several rows of you know this do a row of this this do a row of this and just blend this throughout the entire project so you guys tell me what you think about that Oh, and then I got this one, number 104, and this one is dark purple, dark blue, medium purples and blues, and a red color. So we have that. So you guys tell me if you think any of these are out of place. I would appreciate the feedback. So here's that. Okay, <clears throat> I can't wait to see that. I forgot about that. Okay, I guess I forgot about everything. All right, so I wanted to try... Oh, it has an actual name. It just says HHF. Hedgehog fibers. Okay. Couldn't remember. Hedgehog fibers. So I just got one offs here. This is the waves again. Um, just fell. Okay. So I didn't get like a full, usually I get a full project amount of stuff like I did over here. But, um, these were really unique and pretty, and I thought these would be great for just, like, 
I don't know, just to work in with another yarn. Like if I have a solid yarn, like a solid Malabrigo, and I work these in with that or something like that. Because I'm really trying to start mixing things. Um, and like this waved yarn, that's what I'm doing, is I'm, I'm mixing a bunch of different colorways together to hopefully make a cohesive project. Well, this is the same thing. I am challenging myself to make new things, to step outside my comfort zone. And the coloration is just so pretty. These reminded me of minis, of like a mini set, but all in one. And I really just wanted to try it out. I can't tell you how much I approve of the rainbow holographic tag. Um, so this one is called Firefly. They're made in Ireland. 100 grams, 400 meters. So like, it's like 437 yards. 90% um, merino, 10% nylon, machine washable. Um, dry away from direct sunlight. So this one's Firefly. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Oh, hold on. Firefly has a really deep, ind like a deep indigo with different shades of blue with splashes of pink and orange and yellow and purple and with air and green with areas of white, which normally I stay away from, but I don't mind it here. I'm starting to embrace those negative spaces more, but very very pretty so that was firefly this one is called Bridget Brigid Bridget I don't know please forgive me so this one has grays different tones of gray so you know I love it and yellow so you definitely know I love it here's more color on this end it's got that kind of fall shades looking. Honestly, this kind of made me think of um, thunderstorm skies, kind of. I don't know. Spring showers, something like that. Okay, and then oops. this one, the next two are kind of random. There's thought behind it. This one is called Damsel. This one has muted shades. And that's the reason I got it is because like I can dye vibrant all day long. Muted shades are where I struggle. I'm still learning how to do the muted shades. These have a purpose. You put this with something like this and it's so pretty. So like, like this. I mean, I won't put these together. But like, you put something like this, and this is the other one, with uh, like aubergine, deeper purple, charcoal gray, they look really pretty, and they help the other colors to stand out. So this one has some dark purple, some medium purples, some light green, some kind of tan color, because of the, where the purple's meeting the green, it kind of turns to a brownie tan color. That one was Damsel. This one is Iris. Now this one looks different than what I thought it was going to look like. Um, but it's actually, it's okay. I want to show you something. I'm going to undo it. So it has like solid, but then it has these like spells of like speckle colors. But again, this is like, this is not meant to be the pop of a project. This is meant to be the more subdued midtones that help those pops pop. So like, this is the pop of a project, but this needs something subdued to help it pop. So like this would go really great with like, um, just solid grays or blues or something like that. This is the pop, but this will help some of those other colors pop. So yeah, um, so that's why I got those because th that's kind of where I struggle is doing these sorts of colors. And so I figure I have a lot of things that these will go really well with. So 
I wanted to try. I've never had a hedgehog, so. Okay, now uh, I keep seeing something I want to touch. Oh, but I can't wait to get into it. Oh my gosh. Okay, the sunset. Oh my god. Um, I did only get three of these because that's all they had. Jazz party! You guys should be shocked at all the purple you're seeing here. At least I am. I'm not Juan, and I'm not Ray and Mama G, people who just go gaga over purple. Um, it has its place, but it's not like my main thing that I love. But look at this! Man, the light really kind of drowns out the color. These are going to be so beautiful worked up. So it's got like, it's got shades of like fuchsia and berry, then dark grays, purple, blue. I mean, it's my shtick. It's my thing. I mean, is anybody really surprised? Probably not. It's a little predictable. I got four of these. They're the Siddhar Jewel Spun, and this is in the color... 0842 Nordic Noir. It's just scrumptious. I really like this yarn. As I'm bringing new yarns in, I'm cycling out other yarns. I am working my way to the yarn closet and then I'm going to purge that baby of about 90% of what's in it. So, gotta make room for all this stuff. Okay, and then here is the last one of, what is that? Oh, that's one of those wine things. I don't drink. Um, okay. It's another jewel spun. Um, this one is in colorway 0839 Northern Lights. And this one is just oh it's so scrumptious it's kind of a mix of those two colorways together it's got your magentas your pinks your purples but it's also got your fall sort of colors and your tan um there's some like blue like it's just so pretty so this is this is that one. Oh man, I can't wait to see these work up. Like I saw them on Ravelry. But are you guys enjoying the Ravelry? Uh, I did a Ravelry video showing how to look up, how to find a pattern for yarn when all you know is like the weight and yardage of the yarn that you have. Um, I'm recording other, other videos too. Like how to look up a specific yarn so you can see how it works up. Um, how to buy a pattern to gift to somebody, how to buy a pattern, how to view it, um, how to look up a specific pattern. I'm just gonna try to show how to work Ravelry because it is truly such, um, it's, a, it's a really good thing to have. Okay, so that is something you guys can let me know below is what, do you think I should leave any of those colorways out of the Cascade Waves and are you liking the Ravelry? video or would you like more okay these I am so excited to try the only reason I got these is because I got a deal I never would have spent this kind of money I think this has to be the most expensive hank of yarn I've ever bought and I have blue heron metallic so okay and I have cash, the Mongolian cashmere. Yard for yard, the Mongolian cashmere is way more expensive. But this one is so unique, okay? So unique. And I wanted to show you guys. Because I don't know if anybody's ever reviewed this yarn. I'm going to do a standalone review of this yarn. And if you guys want me to do a review of these yarns, please let me know. And I will happily do that. This is called Prism Layers Stuff. I wanted all of them. 
but I only got two. <clears throat> um, they are they were sixty five dollars. That was after the deal. They're yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, okay, so this is what they look like. Now, I'm going to show you an up close. It is like the kitchen sink, okay? It's the beaded style. It's not actual beads, but the beaded style. It's got... It's got little loops. It's got mohair -y furry it's got sparkle and then it has like this where it has metallic and just all that texture There's this like netting style. Guys, I'm just digging and there's more and more. There's ribbon. Ribbon. Um, like elastin. There's this beautiful ribbon with sparkle. There's whatever in the fluff this is. It is just unique, okay? There's this ribbon. Like, I can just keep digging and digging and digging. And there's just, it's literally, I understand why they call it stuff. But I really think they could, should have called it everything but the kitchen sink. Or everything including the kitchen sink. So, okay, I chose the colorways that I did because I use a lot of blues and grays, and I use a lot of magentas and purples nowadays. Um, this is not going to be an entire project. This is going to be like a, like a row or two here, a row or two there. Like, um... Like, think of a poncho and just think of, like, a couple of rows throughout it, like, spread throughout it, of just something like this. It would be very interesting. It would add a lot of, I don't know, pizzazz? <laughs> I don't know. I found it so interesting. There's other colors I really want. Honestly, I don't think there was a single, single color I didn't want. There was a black and grays one that I really, really wanted because that's like my jam. There was one that was like uh, deeper blues. I wanted them all, but I got two because I really wanted to show you guys. If this was awful, I wanted to show you guys where I did it and you didn't have to. So what this is, Prism Stuff dyed in the USA. The original hand dyed, hand tied, magically changing yarn um hold on let me get the thing off of it stuff must be wound while under tension place skeins onto a swift or a friend's outstretched arms <laughs> um Okay, so this is hand wash cold water dry flat layers stuff. Fiber is rayon cotton, nylon, kid mohair, bamboo, tinsel, wool, cashmere. And I can tell you that whatever the mohair is in it, it's not bothering me. This one's color is raspberry. They're six to eight ounces, 300 yards. Number eight needles or something number eight needle 
4.5 I don't know um so this one is called raspberry and this one is called sapphire so I will do a standalone review of these even if you know nobody will probably want to get it I think it's just so very unique I had to have it I mean it just kept screaming at me so yeah, so I will do a standalone review of these because I don't know if one exists. I can work up like a swatch of these if you guys would like the Sardar um, Jewel Spun. And then I'm not certain, okay. <coughs> I know that I got a one-off of these hedgehogs. And most of these waves. But I don't know why. Where did my tag go? Or my paper? Where'd it go, y'all? Where'd I put it? Oh my gosh. I bet you it's in the box at the bottom of the box. Yep. Oh, jeez. I don't know why I would only get one of these. That doesn't make any sense to me. Other than, I, I mean, I guess maybe to try it out. I don't know. Let me see. What do you call it? Baroka Wizard? Baroka Wizard is called Lapis. Yeah, I guess I only got one of those. I'm super confused by that. I don't know why I would do that. Hmm. Yeah, it must be just to show you guys. I don't know. I normally don't do that. I get enough to work a project. I don't know. But yeah, that's what it looks like. But yeah, so I guess I just got one of those. How, how strange. I guess there's the first time for everything, but... Let me know down below what you would like to see worked up, um, what you would like a dedicated review to. I would be more than happy to do that. Last thing is, is if you don't want a spoiler for Full Spectrum's release for this month, um, look away. You don't have to click off. Um, Look away, I want to show you. The video has already released, but I just wanted to show you guys and remind you that it is open from the 1st to the 8th. Look away. If you don't want a spoiler anyway. Um, this is two hanks together, uh, but it's Silent Night. It is absolutely stunning. It is on a 90% um, extra fine superwash merino, 5% nylon, 5% stolina. Okay, you guys can look. Um, it released on the 1st and it will close on the 8th. So if you are wanting to try out my subscription box, I would very much appreciate it. And um, you'll, I'll link that video below and you can just go check it out. All the details are in it. Don't worry if you don't want to see it. I give a trigger warning so that you can look away so that, you know, no surprises are, are spent. But anyway okay i really hope you guys enjoyed this this was a lot of fun um what a happy surprise <laughs> um and now to go find room for all of this stuff it sounds like i need to do a giveaway because i don't have room for it it's gonna sit in the box and yarn can't sit in a box so yeah i love you guys i hope you had fun thank you for hanging out with me Merry Christmas, and I hope you guys enjoy this month. I'm going to be uploading every day. Um, so I will see you guys in the YouTube streets. Have